We got some frightening and disturbing news today. For the first time ever, researchers have found a person here in the United States carrying bacteria that is resistant to antibiotics of the last resort. A long dreaded but not seen before in the U.S. superbug. It's a strain of E. coli has been identified in a 49-year-old woman in Pennsylvania. Are more than 320 million Americans now exposed to a deadly plague with no cure? Our next guest is a Pulitzer Prize winner and New York Times best-selling author of The Coming Plague, Newly Emerging Diseases in a World Out of Balance. Lori Garrett joining us now in a Fox Business exclusive. Thank you so much for joining us. I have to tell you, your book, years and years ago, it appears predicted this very scenario. Are you surprised about the news that broke today? Not in the least. I, if I have any surprise, it's just that it took quite this long. Uh, and I think the most important thing for people to understand is exactly what has happened. All right, in 2008 in India, a mutation emerged that we call NDM, New Delhi mutation. This mutation conferred widespread drug resistance in a whole range of different kinds of bacteria. Since 2008, that has come out in nine different forms. So now we have NDM1, NDM2, out to nine. Sure. Each one deadlier than the last. And it has now spread all over the world. Well, when you have NDM, which is a, what we call a plasmid, it's a little uh, bit of DNA that's got its own little coating, and it can jump from bacteria to bacteria, species to species. They actively share it when antibiotics are thrown in the mutate. soup and mutate. Well. Now, because of that, we had to resort to using an old antibiotic that had gone out of favor because it causes kidney side effects, called colistin. Correct. What we now see that just emerged out of China last year and now for the first time in the United States is the MCR gene, which is another plasmid. It confers another whole range of resistance. If you have those two together, you can forget penicillin, you can forget your fancy broad spectrum antibiotics. You're in serious trouble. We're on the cusp in of fact, the end of antibiotics. Uh, okay, that's what the CDC director said. In fact, he said the medicine cabinet will be empty and useless yes. if this thing starts to spread. Yes. I have to ask, is this our overuse or problematic prescription of antibiotics coming home to roost? You know what it really is, and this is what makes me quite angry actually. This is fundamentally about agricultural use. We use far more, I mean we as the world use far more antibiotics to promote getting fat chickens and fat pigs um, than we do to cure diseases either in animals or people. And indiscriminate use as growth promoters is why. Why do all these strange things come out of India and China? Because they have a totally unregulated agricultural system. And any chemicals any farmer wants to throw into to make their pigs fatter, their chickens fatter, and all of these mutations start in the animals. But this woman in Pennsylvania hadn't traveled. She reportedly has not traveled to China where where pork that has well, been that just shows us it's in our environment now do you expect to see more cases yes, in the coming days of course and we will see more that are involved that involve less obscure microorganisms more and more involving salmonella it's turned up in food poisoning cases it's turned up in pneumonia cases due to klebsiella it's turned up in gut and bacterial problems due to enterobacter due to e coli a huge range of different microbes can carry these two plasmids and you know we are just playing games by imagining that the solution to this is going to be some miracle drugs that come off the pharmaceutical shelf no the solution is to absolutely ban agricultural use. Okay, but do we wash our hands more? Do we use Purell? Do we wear face masks on planes? What can the average well, individual do? Well, one thing do? everybody should do is stop eating any poultry, any chicken, fish, anything that have been antibiotic treated. Just ban it from your kitchen. And eat only at restaurants that guarantee they don't use any foods that have antibiotics in them. Because if the antibiotic is there, the microbes that are cohabiting that space called Jump your over. piece of chicken are going to be exposed to the antibiotics and it's going to breed resistance and yes you will get it from them 
you will get it from all sorts of foods that you eat. That's a big start, and that's more significant than almost anything else you can do right now. Check your hamburger meat before you put it on the grill this Memorial Day weekend. I don't mean to joke. Make but sure things are cooked. It's great to have you. And read the book, The Coming Plague. Lori Garrett is the author. She won a Pulitzer Prize. It's great to have you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. She